You know, the voyaging um, trip to Tahiti and back, there's like this absolute set of miracles that happen in the springtime of every year as the, as, the, as the earth journeys around the sun. And in the springtime, there's a block of time, the months of April and May, that between here in Tahiti and coming back, there's no hurricanes. That's one. And two, those two years are when you actually have the best consistent winds. But the third piece is miracle, is that you have the stars aligned in the right place when you need them to navigate by. And so we use this kind of thing called the star compass, and it's taught by Mao to us. And what it is is this big circle. It's really the, essentially it's, you're on the va'a and the, this so-called edge between atmosphere and water where they join is called the horizon. And that horizon on the ocean is 360 degrees around you. And you need to be able to tell where to go. And so there's the main tool that we were taught by Mao is called the star compass. And I kind of just want to try a little experiment with um, those of you young people who are stuck at home because you can't go to school anymore. Um, may, maybe maybe see if we can try to enjoy just learning a little bit about the stars and how they can help us tell direction. And imagine if you could use those very, very distant point of light in the sky to actually go 2,400 nautical miles across open ocean and find an island called Tahiti smaller than Maui and then turn around and come back. And so my great teacher, his name was Will Kaselka. He was like the star man. He was from Boston and he, he was a lecturer at the Bishop Museum Planetarium and he taught us years and years about how to understand, map the sky. He said, okay, here's, here's how you teach people to understand direction. But what you got to do is wherever you are, like at your home, you got to be able to see where the sun is going down, setting sun. So let's say the sun is, sun sets generally in the west. So I'm going to face west where the sun is setting over here. And if you, put, if you put your body aligned to the setting sun, then Uncle Will says, then reach out with your two arms on both sides, and your right arm, if you're facing west, is pointing to north. And your left arm is pointing to south. And so the same thing, if you were then, if you did it, so, and then behind the setting sun, behind you would be west. So just from knowing where the sun is setting, you can tell north, south, east, and west. And then this time during Earth Day, um, you're going to see some pretty amazing stars that we key, powerful, main navigating stars. If you know where north is, you turn to north and you'll see a star that is, if you put your hand out, you put your bottom of your hand on the horizon about that high, above there you're going to see one bright white light. It's the North Star in the north. In the west, the governing constellation at, after sunset is a star that Hawaiians call Heheo Nakeki. The Greeks called it, it's more familiar, it was Orion. Look for the three stars in the belt. And then from there, you're going to find lineups to all the bright stars. To Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, uh, next to the sun, you'll see, uh, you'll see Hoko'ula, you, you'll see Puana, you'll see Puanakao, you'll see um, uh, Kamailimua, Kamai, um, you'll see um, many of the stars in that very brilliant western sky. But in the eastern sky are the two powerful main steering stars right towards east and a little bit to the left of east is going to be the big red giant uh, greeks call it arcturus hawaiians call it hokulea and it'll be about a hand span off of the horizon at about 7 30 at night and equally distanced to the right of the 
Western Point is going to be another bright white giant. It's called Spica by the Greeks, and Hawaiians called it Hikianalia. It's Hokulea and Hikianalia. They're going to be parallel to the horizon. That means their altitude above the horizon is going to be the same. It's like a miracle that only happens in the latitude of the Hawaiian Islands. So we use those stars to find home. And then around, I don't know, more like about 11 o'clock or 10.30, you're going to start to see the rising of the great four stars that we use to actually use. It's too complicated to explain um, that, um, that tell us actually the latitude of Hawaii precisely. We've been using this for decades of time. Many navigators have used it. Uh, it's, it's called Hanai Akamalama. It's the Southern Cross. So, and that is it's a little complicated. We'll get into this later. But it looks like a cross, like a cross or in the sky. And um, yeah, drag your parents out or your grandparents. Tell them we've got to go outside and go look for it. It'll come across the sky like this in the south. And it'll go like that from about, you'll see it like 10 p.m. till about, about to about... 12 or 1 in the morning and I mean 12 at night or 1 in the morning and um, yeah and then we'll we'll make it more complicated in the next one so thank you very much <laughs>